Welcome back to the quarters. We're live here at Los Alamos Racecourse in Cypress, California. And you never know who you're gonna see here at Los Al, a person that we saw 15, 16 years ago, I don't know. It's uh, It's been a while since you were actually training horses here, but you're gonna recognize the face. Janet Van Beber, and now you have a, a different role than trainer. You retired, I don't know, when was that? Even it's been four years five ago. Five years ago, four years mm -hmm. ago. And now you're working with AQHA. I enjoyed a four year sabbatical while my daughter was in high school and I got to do all the mom things. Mm -hmm. Now she's off to college and Amazing. I'm back to work. Wow, I remember her, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Less, she... we're old. <laughs> I know, it's a long time. <laughs> she was, I don't know, three years old probably with that red hair running around here at Los Al. And she hopes to come back to the challenge when we come in my new position with AQHA. I'm the chief racing officer. Okay. And among my various responsibilities, I get to oversee the implementation of the challenge program. Okay. And mm -hmm. this year, our challenge championship is here at Los Alamitos. It is, and it's been uh, a few years, I think, since we've had it here, but I always love hosting the challenge races. October the 29th is the date when the horses that have been competing all year long for spots here at Los Al will be uh, represented. I love to have all those regions coming together on this night. Absolutely, and it's a great set of races. They run it over a million dollars in total purses. And it's a great program because you can enroll as a, as a weanling for merely $300 and mm -hmm. get to come back and run it all of this money. So uh, I hope to remind horsemen that they have to nominate by October the 3rd and be here on the grounds at Los Alamitos by October the 12th. And the other thing that we've done at AQHA to help horsemen get here is that we've impl implemented a pre-transit hair testing policy so that horsemen can know before they leave their own racing jurisdiction if they meet the standards that are set here at Los Alamitos. And Great we're doing idea. that mm -hmm. to help, help horsemen uh, be a part of this program, which is such a good thing for all of us. And by the way, um, you said you've been off training for four years, but do you really miss training when you see horses coming in from other tracks, especially due to uh, Los Alamitos in a couple of weeks? I, my my team was kind of like a well-oiled machine, and I missed that part. I missed the horses. I missed the boys that worked for me. I, I, I miss uh, the people that were part of my administration. Um, but I wouldn't trade any of that for these four years mm -hmm. that I had with my daughter. And now I get oh. to come back and be a bigger voice and help horsemen all across the country, and that's what I hope to do in this capacity. And tell me, people out there, how many world champions did you train throughout your career? I trained five world champions. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot of world champions, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Now, uh, you're based out of uh, Amarillo then? Or you kind of work a lot on the road and go on different tracks? Or what, what's, what's a day in the life of Janet Van Beber right now? Well, I've been on the job just five weeks, and this is my sixth location to visit. Um, I do wow. spend as much time as possible in the office. I've got a great staff there, and I'm trying to uh, tap into them as a resource to help me learn this new role. Um, but the main thing that AQHA was excited about me coming into the fold is the my expertise as a horseman. So I'm spending a lot of times at the tracks. I've been to Rio Doso, I've been to Albuquerque, I've been here, I've made a trip to Washington. Uh, so I, I've been everywhere. And, and that's what I need to do is to be in touch with horsemen and see how we can help them. Now, does this interfere with your role on uh, Race View Network with Jim Byers? So we have some fans out there that have watched you on that, by the way. I've enjoyed <laughs> that show quite a bit. But, and, and Race View Network will be coming to the Challenge Championship. Good. And I think Martha with our Racing Aces is going to yeah. take the role that I had because mm -hmm. I'll be very busy helping put this sure. program on. Now, uh, let's see. It is uh, early August, and the challenge is... Mm -hmm championships is October the 29th so that means there are still a lot of challenge races to be determined over the next couple of months I think if I remember right Turf Paradise almost always has that last final berth to the to the championship. Both Turf Paradise and Prairie Meadows are right and there Prairie at Meadows. the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here at Los Alamitos, you have trial races coming up in just a couple weeks, so we have activity all over the nation. Prairie Meadows that, that brings back memories to me. I remember going there for their central challenge championship when Panther Mountain won. Yes. So that had to be oh, yes. 2003 mm -hmm. maybe or 2003. somewhere back there. It was a while ago. We, we won that region and we came here to win the challenge championship that year which made the third consecutive year that my team won the challenge championship having won it with Taylor Fit. 
Streak and Sintacha and then Panther Mountain. And to date, we're the only team to have done that. And I still wow. see some of that Streak and Sintacha pedigree lines coming through. And you still breed a few? Yes, I have a three-quarter sister to Streak and Sintacha, a Mr. Jess Perry mare called uh, Sintacha Perry. And so she has progeny out there. She has a full sister called Miss Sintacha, who's okay. uh, no longer living, but she still has some progeny out there. Uh, yearling going to the Rito to sale. So yeah, the, the family continues to bless us. So you're very involved, uh, and uh, congratulations on your uh, on your new role. Thank you. And uh, we'll look forward to mm -hmm. seeing everybody coming out on October the 29th. And again, trainers and, and horsemen, one final message for them. What, what are the dates again, if you want to have them know? To nominate would be by October the 3rd. Arrival here at Los Alamitos is October the 12th. Okay. If you have any questions, you can call our hotline at 877-222-7223. One more time, 877-222-7223. I might add that to this, so later on if we mm -hmm. show it, it'll say call the hotline and if you need any information. So we'll send that number over to Blaze. He'll get that uh, on there so horsemen know exactly what to do. Janet, thanks so much for joining us. It's always See fun you in to October. Be here. Great. Mm -hmm. Look forward to it. All right. Janet Van Bever, our special guest tonight, Chief Racing Officer. I like that title, by the way. It's long. For the uh, <laughs> AQHA. Uh, Les and I will be back right after this. We still have the late Daily Double coming up after this on the quarter. Stay tuned.